The first Ascendant just got a ton of new hidden tricks. We also have to go over some brand new resources, and some of those will change your entire playstyles. We have some insane news around TFD. Additionally, some worrying stuff about Enzo, as well as some brand new farm method. We got a ton to talk about. What's up, world? It's Utopia back in with another video. Today, we're checking out all things the First Ascendant. Okay, so first up, we do have some news here around Destiny 2, as well as the First Ascendant, and essentially how these relate currently. So it looks like the First Ascendant is actually changing some things because of Dest 2. Since Destiny 2 is already globally renowned, and even the developers of D2 said they personally admire and respect the team of D2. It was also an inspiration to their development process, which I think is very clear there. However, recently they've taken Concerned raised very seriously, and they've taken the steps to make adjustments to ensure that the imagery that may appear similar clearly reflects the unique identity of their game. And they'll continue to improve the game for fans of the looter shooter genre. Essentially, some of the icons that were in the game currently or in TFD are also somewhat similar to Destiny 2. At least that's what they're coming off as, and some people have kind of raised that concern there. Someone showcased the logo and imagery here, where some of the stuff was a little bit similar. Although most of this definitely had a unique spin on it, there was a few that you could say technically looked a little close for comfort. Although you can definitely see where some of the inspirations come from. We'll have to see what the new icons look like and what they do change. Now we also have this insane new trick. This could technically nearly double your damage for any weapon type. So essentially, you can nearly double your ammo capacity or even more. And you can do this without any module cost at all. No, seriously, you can double the amount of ammo that you have for your primary weapon or whatever weapon you like without using any modules on the current weapon. So what do I mean by that? We have a poster that goes over in depth to explain this, but essentially whatever weapon you like or enjoy to use, whatever main weapon, normally this is gonna be your primary weapon, you then equip a second weapon in any of the slots two or three with the exact same ammo type. You then mod out the second weapon with modules that increase your max reserve ammo, now in this case, you could also use max reserve ammo that increases your general rounds if you use a general round weapon. And then you can also put a refining mod on there that will change special or impact ammo to general rounds. Now there is two things to note with this. Again, I took my thunderclap without even modding it all the way, just kind of as an experiment from 400 rounds to 600 round capacity. But again, there's two things there. One is that whatever secondary you equip, make sure it has a low ammo count. The reason being is that the second gun or the second weapon will actually use up ammo from the primary so this person accidentally used tamer which takes over a hundred ammo from your max one when you're starting at the beginning of a colossus or a map so you want to use a lower magazine weapon they pointed out here that for general rounds a low magazine weapon is a red wolf which you can farm from this location in white knight go to the mountaintops order patrols beat mission i went there and got it off the very first mob although i'm sure there's other locations in fact i've seen the red wolf in multiple locations so just look where the loot tables are and see where you can farm the red wolf one if you are using a general round weapon or at least you want to do this with a general round weapon also a second thing there you should maybe think about also adding weapon speed to the second weapon or even the first one because of the fact that you do need to select the second weapon upon picking up general ammo so what do i mean by this if your first primary weapon is full on ammo or full with its normal capacity in order for you to get that additional rounds or that additional magazines, you have to swap to the weapon slot that does have that upgrade there or the module upgrade. So for example here, I went from my Thunderclap swapping to the Red Wolf weapon in order to pick up the gray rounds. That then took my Thunderclap from 400 ammo capacity to 600. And again, these modules are not fully upgraded, so you can easily nearly double if not more. So make sure, especially in the Colossi or Colossi missions, that you are swapping into your Red Wolf or your secondary weapon. Otherwise, it won't overfill where you could have. And also, if you're already maxed at 400, you won't be able to pick up the gray ammo until you swap to that secondary. However, when you do, both ammo capacities on both weapons will increase. And this essentially could nearly double the damage that you deal. Especially when you do Colossi or even the dungeon missions where you can't find additional ammo. I know this will also help out a ton with the reactor missions and the reactor bosses that don't drop ammo. Just an insanely useful trick there, and yeah, I'm gonna use this one. I already have this set up on my character. And with that, we have two brand new resources that were just developed. Two different sites with a ton of resources on them, and they aren't the TFD wiki. So this first one here, we have tfdhub.com. 
This is where you have player lookup database and a build tool. Now this is currently just out of its alpha phase. However, you can track any player here, look up their entire build, all of their statistics, and this person pulls the data from Nexon themselves. So again, this will showcase any player that you want to look up. Currently, I think it has a bit of an issue as I wasn't able to look up mine, but I'm sure eventually every player will show up on this. And so if you are looking at a build guide video or anything like that, people hopefully should provide you with this link and showcase that. I think eventually when I showcase my full Volby build guide, I am going to try to link you guys this down below. Hopefully it works by then. But yeah, this is a really cool tool here that you can look up any player imaginable, have a database there for them, and a build tool built in. Which is also working on some weapon build tools for that that you can include with that there. Really cool stuff with that, so hopefully that one does get established even further. And again, that was done by Manny L over on the Reddit. We have another one here called TFD Tools. This one done by Crazy Atman. Again, over on the Reddit sharing this. He has some really cool tool stuff here. In fact, people are recommending that this one be added to the TFD hub one so that way the builds are showcased together or the APIs do come together. We'll have to see. Maybe these guys end up do working together on this because these build tools and this build lookup website really do go hand in hand. Some really cool stuff there. It has full builds here. You have weapons, modules, and even characters. It's super in-depth for what it is. So if you are wanting to plan your builds or anything like that, and again, I'm more than likely going to use this if I can hopefully show share my builds through this just like I did with Diablo. So again, hopefully in the future when I do have build guides, I will showcase it through this website and then I can link it to you guys and you can just look at the build there and copy it from there. Moving on though, we do have to talk about that issue with Enzo. So currently Enzo has a module grind that is weirdly hidden and it's the only one through this objective. Essentially in order to get certain Enzo modules, the transcendent ones, which do contain his red abilities, you actually have to grind for purple vault. The insane part is that this is really, really RNG on RNG and isn't really farmable by any other method. Again, you will get these at random. So a lot of this stuff, a lot of the keys for these vaults are at random. This person here has opened up four days worth, over 50 ultra vaults and still has not gotten any of the transcendent modules. They said that here that this is the longest grind in the game and it's well below the 20% trend, which I definitely believe so because I don't really get a lot of code break analyzers and also doing those with the ultra ones, I've even have less of those. In fact, currently I only have two of those with all the playtime that I have, which is just absolutely insane, especially if this person's already done 50 of those, seemingly being in a group and pushing for those keys. So yeah, hopefully that's addressed just like they did with adding loot or the vaults from the loot in other sections of the game. Hopefully they do end up changing that because that is just hysterically bad. I have a few last minute mentionables here. TFD did reach 10 million players in its first week. So the Twitter did go ahead and tout that here. We also had a ban wave happen. I'm sure people have talked about this already, but there was a ban wave that happened from 7.5 to 7.11. And they even listed all the names that got banned. This was pretty significant here. Over 3,481 people got banned. I'm glad they're being fully transparent there. Hopefully more games can take upon this and actually do this too. Because I do think this takes another additional step there to help out with that. We also have this guide here posted for all the crystallization catalysts and energy activator resources and where to farm them, and the best locations seemingly so here. There's also some additional comments in the thread here, so I'll link to this down below so you can see everything with that. However, that should cover for today's video. If you like, like, and subscribe, and until the next one. Deuces!